Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video, it, we're at the Big Rig Showdown, Lebanon, Virginia, and this is the truck parade. Looks like we got a couple coming up already. Check that out. Pretty neat. So anyway, we're doing the whole, this video is the whole parade, but before the parade, in this video, we're gonna do the top five. They did a, uh, they did a charity auction, top five spots in the parade, all went to uh, a charity. We'll kind of talk about that in the beginning of the video. We're gonna meet those people, show you those trucks, and then we'll be here in town. And there's gonna be like 100 plus semis coming through here, I believe, and uh, all the lights are on. Should be a pretty awesome uh, little truck parade, and the people have already started lining up on the streets to watch. So uh, pretty fun video, guys, and uh, follow along. You're gonna like it. Okay, here is the number one spot winner and it's a beautiful 2003 379 how's it going how you doing scott fowler from talking rock georgia yes sir yeah. and you got number one number one so yes, tell me a little bit about a you get to be first place in the in the in the parade which is neat yep. and uh but tell me a little bit about the truck here so the truck is an 03 379 uh, it's been a georgia truck since it was Brand new, um, hauled rock back and forth to Tennessee, yep. North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, just a real local truck. So, okay. uh, and I was able to pick it up about five years ago. And and it's Georgia, and it's red. So is yeah. it a, is it a, is this a Georgia Bulldogs red deal? Well, that? you know, it it could be it Georgia could Bulldogs be. red. Yeah, it could be. Nice. The interior of this thing's awesome. And you yeah. done you done pretty good with the uh, with the trophies. We didn't do bad today, not at all. How many miles are on it? The truck just turned over a million miles on the speedometer, but since it's been rebuilt, it's probably got about ten thousand miles. Ten thousand miles. Yeah, it was on completely it. rebuilt. Engine, transmission, rear ends, everything. So I bet it's going to be pretty awesome. The parade is right at dusk or dark. Yes. Do you know how many lights are on this, dude? I have never counted all the lights on here, but as you can see with the the light trophy, it's uh, it's, a lot. it's lit up. It's lit up. That is awesome. So uh, there it is. That is the uh, the number one spot for the convoy, and uh, uh, all the money for this goes to the Go Team, which is really awesome. It's a good uh, it's a good charity. Helps a lot of people, and uh, yeah, there's number one. The number two spot for the uh, for the convoy, uh, Mitchell Bottomley got that with the red 389X. Tell me a little bit. Well, first, introduce yourself, who you are, and uh, tell me what did you guys donate for the number two spot? Okay, my name's Mitch Dale. I work for Bottomley Enterprises. Actually, I've gone part time working for them, trying to retire a little bit. Uh, Mitchell wasn't able to be here. Uh, he told me to make sure we secured a spot uh, in the truck convoy here. We paid $3,000 for our spot in the truck convoy. Uh, glad to be up here and take part in, uh, in helping out on this. That's awesome. And so all the money from this goes to the Go Foundation, which is a really awesome uh, organization that helps people uh, with like um, repairs on houses. They build a lot of ramps for, for people that need ramps into their homes. It's, it's people that don't have enough money to be able to pay for it. And so all the donations go 100% into helping out families, especially in this area, which is pretty neat. And well, you get to be the second one in the convoy, so that'll be fun. Yes, sir. Our driver's going to be John Hendren. Okay. Uh, he. This is actually a, a farm. It's labeled as one of the farm trucks instead of one of the Bottomley Enterprises. Uh, John works on the farm for us, so he'll be the he'll be the lucky driver to get to drive this truck through the convoy here. That's super awesome. So we'll go over this truck a little bit. We actually did this truck at our shop at Semi Casual, and uh, it is a 330 inch wheelbase, 389X. And I don't remember the number, but it's a really low number. It was it's, in the 40s. I can't remember. We'll we look in there real quick though. Let's see, what number did we get? It is number 32. That's right. So it's number 32 off the production line for the X's being built in legendary red. We painted the chassis on this truck legendary black. 
If you had to pick something, Mitch, what is your favorite part of this truck? I just, riding up the road, I, I've seen it on the road. We've rode it around. It's been around Mount Air a little bit. It's the first time I've seen it up the road. I, I just think the color and the wheelbase, everything is a pop. Uh, it, it stands out coming up the road. Yep. And that's that and the chrome on the, or the chrome and aluminum polished up on it just makes it really pop out there on the road. Uh, yep. You know, with the stretch and everything on the truck. The, the legendary red's definitely awesome. 330 inch wheelbase, that's a freaking, it's a long truck. And uh, you know, the separation between the sleeper and the back of the trailers. It definitely has a good attitude to it. And I'm sure it rides with this trailer on it really awesome. I hadn't rode in this one. Well, maybe you should ride in it for the parade. This thing, <laughs> this thing's a pretty slick truck here. Uh, front end's got a single bag air ride on it, getting it nice and low. We did a 12 gauge, uh, 20 inch bumper on it, 12 gauge boxes on it. It's got Dynaflex stacks, uh, breather lights, kept the factory visor and uh, nine lights on the roof. It's just overall really classy, good looking truck that's got a lot of attitude to it. It's uh, definitely of the ones that we built. It's one of my favorites for sure. All right, and number four in the convoy, sir. Austin Kaiser. And you, you donated how much? $4,000. $4,000, and that's all going to the- Go team. Go team, it's yes, pretty sir. cool. And uh, tell me a little bit real quick, uh, aside, you guys put on this amazing show, which is in a, this has been a blast. It's, it's awesome. It's been a good turnout. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Thank my family and everybody for helping. You for coming and helping. Evan, for sure. I'll be next year. This, Lauren, so, this has been for so helping. much fun. Everybody's been great and just, just can't be happier. You guys are super organized in the show. Uh, and then the crowd of people that are here, I mean, look back this way, um, there's just, there's a great crowd of, of like the locals that came in to check all the trucks out. Yeah, there's a lot of people around here to take pride in trucking. So that's what makes the show great. Everybody takes pride in it and shows up and shows out. Yep. Well, let's do a quick, tell me a little bit on the truck here. Uh, this truck's a 2002 model, 379. And we bought it about three years ago. And it wasn't this color. It was like an off green color, but the paint had faded really bad. And it didn't have but 200,000 original miles on it. Really? and uh, it was kind of a barn find. Yep. And my dad actually bought it and we painted it the navy blue, the indigo blue. And I drove it for, I guess, probably about a year and a half. And I actually hauled coal, okay. uh, heavy haul coal with a three down trailer for about a year and a half with it. And then after I bought it about two years ago, uh, I stretched it to 308 from 275 and just added little by little here and there. Now, where did you get the, where did the 308 number come from? That's just the number you wanted? Or? Uh, it was kind of, a 305 was the number that yep. we were going for, but it just it just ended up being 308. 308 so. just bolt holes moving stuff. Where so you're was, yep. yep, yep. That's cool. It's a gorgeous truck, and this is called Indigo? Indigo Blue, Blue. yes. I love the color. Dude, that's wild to find a 200,000 mile and it, I'm thinking it was probably pretty straight and everything else. Yeah, that's just... that's why we jumped at it. It was uh, a friend of my dad's called that he's bought trucks off of for years and uh, said he found a truck, kind of a barn find. It didn't have hardly any miles on it. And uh, the inside, we've done quite a bit to it since we bought it, or I have. But I love the wood floor in it. It looks great. And that was actually in there when we bought the truck. The guy oh, that really? had this truck had put the wood floor in there when we got it. And then the rest of it, I kind of added to it. but. He had started, he had started a, a good start on it. All the wood looks great in it. Legacy low backs. It's super nice. This will look good, this will look good. Uh, Just a good old work truck. In the convoy. <laughs> I mean, you know, it takes a lot of work to have a nice truck like this, haul and coal. It does. And then be able to bring it to this show. It does. Just about uh, another guy that uh, works for my dad hauled with me. Yep. And just about every evening we would pull in and spray them off because there would be, they, I mean, it would be up halfway up the wheels in coal mud. Oh man. And uh, it, we were in some, some pretty rough places. Yep. And there's a lot of these guys that are in rough water places than we was, but it was still bad enough. But I would come in just about every evening and spray it off, at least every other evening. Yep. You kind of have to, especially if you're going to make it stay as nice as this one is. That, uh, how many miles are on it now? 
It's got 505,000 on it now. I've put 305,000 on it. That's cool. And what's under the hood? It's got a C15 cat. And a 18? 18 speed, yep. What, uh, what running gear on the? Uh, 336s. 336s? Yep. Dude, that's sweet. It'll look good in the convoy. I'm looking forward to that. That's, uh, that's happening in just a little bit. Yes, sir. And here is number four. Mr. Ellison got one that spot and uh, donated $2,500 to the GO team, which is really awesome. And uh, it's got a pretty cool cattle pot set up here. Tell me a little bit, well, we'll start out with, tell me your name, where you're from, and uh, a little bit about the truck there. I'm Chad Ellison from Carnesville, Georgia. Uh, I own a stockyard in Georgia, in Carnesville, and I use this truck to deliver cows and bring cows in for our sale every Tuesday. Okay. So it's kind of a, it's a working truck, but it's kind of a my little project hobby it's, working truck. It's your, yeah, it's your, uh, I, I like that. That's cool. So you can kind of, you can move the stuff around you need to for your auction. Yes, sir. And, uh, and do it in style, because yeah, it's a good yeah. looking ride. Yeah, and I love having a nice looking truck, like. So what year is this? It's a 23 model. Okay. And we're still working on it. Got a lot more to do to kind of tidy it on up, but we're getting close. I like it, 78 inch sleeper. What's your wheelbase? 305. 305. And then under the hood? 605 Cummins with a 18 speed with 336 rears. Nice. Got a new gen rear tail deal there. Yeah. That thing's awesome. They build really nice stuff. It's yeah, like, it's, and it's built strong and good. They're like heavy it, duty. Yes, yes. Uh, we put one on Troy Massey's truck, and I mean, I'm, I made a joke. I'm like, it weighs as much as a Volkswagen. We yeah, no use kidding. a forklift to get it on and off. Yeah, I think I weighed, with this trailer, like 37.5, empty. Like, completely washed out, empty, empty. full of fuel, 37.5. Dang. So the truck's heavy, the trailer's heavy. I bet it rides good, though. Yeah, it does ride good. I bet it does. You got a all painted to match yep. APU on here from Thermo King. That's cool. I like all the colored water watermelon lights on it too. Yeah, I did that to match the trailer because I just couldn't handle having clear lens on the truck and not on the trailer. You know, so. Yeah, you got to have them the same. And everybody wants clear lens now, so I traded out. You know, I thought I'd just be different and get the colored lens. Right. So. And to be honest, it's a traditional. I, like, for a long time, we did a ton of clears in our shop. And then we've been kind of starting to do more colored. It sort of changes. Like yeah, it it's changes like a style thing. About every five years, and like it swaps over. It swaps. It does. And you've got the you've got the bolt-on steps with the yep. Peterbilt emblem. That's cool. Stainless airline box, and it's like a Rhino line deck plate. So yeah, you can, you can get up there. And you it. can't. It won't scratch. Like, and you don't bust your butt either when you get up there. Yep. That's pretty cool. But we still got a few things to do. Got to get it plumbed on out the back. Get the Cali hookups, and it's pretty sharp. So, what's the? Tell me a little bit about the trailer. The trailer's a 25 model Wilson 52 foot, and it's got a two foot tuck with a lift at lift rear axle. Okay. And then it's got stainless front and back. I think there's 165 lights on the trailer. Oh, that's awesome. I bet this thing's gonna look good in the. Well, it's gonna look good in the convoy. We all good. lit up looks like good it is. Not. I bet it does. Oh yeah, that looks sharp. That's pretty neat. What's yeah, the na what's the name of your uh, what's the name of your auction? Uh, Franklin County Livestock. Okay. So years ago, there was a there was a there's a I don't know if it's still there. There was a dirt track there. In there is right across the interstate from us. We're about two to, miles from there. I used to race there when I was a child. They still have go kart races and all kinds of stuff there now. Still. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we when we were kids, I think when I was like about twelve. 12 to 15, we race go karts there. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. Well, this thing is awesome. Can't wait to see it in the parade. And uh, thank you, thank you again for participating. Sir, thank y'all for and, having uh, us and being a part of this. And uh, it's a beautiful ride. So I'm glad to get to like share it with everybody. Thank y'all. And the number five spot is uh, this is you guys, right? Justin, Savannah, Roberts. Nice. Where are you guys out of? Uh, White Pine, Tennessee. Okay. And uh, what did y'all what did y'all donate for the number five spot? Uh, I believe it was twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Awesome. So that's cool. It goes to the the, the go team, which is an awesome deal. Yes. And uh, and you get to be front line of the of the parade. Yep. Yep. 
Well, tell me a little bit about y'all's truck here. It is a 2009 388. Uh, it's got a C13 cat, 10-speed transmission. Uh, we put a custom duck plate, uh, duck deck plate on it, and uh, it's got a fifth wheel and a T-knuckle hitch and a gooseneck. Just kind of whatever we need to hook to, we can go get it with this. This is super clean frame too. Yes, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's just come out of paint. The whole whole repaint job. And the white on this is like a, um, it's a pearl white, isn't it? It is. It's based off the 2024 Duramaxes. Okay. I love the color. And I see back here you've got plenty of options. Yes. You can hook, if you go after it with this, you can hook to it. And if it won't hook to this, you can't pull it. You can't pull it. I mean, I believe that. This is a pretty heavy duty deal too. It I is. I like that. Is all, uh, is that all three eights? It is. Okay. How long, uh, how long has this thing been finished? Uh, about 48 hours. She's laughing over here. Yeah. <laughs> we just finished it. We just, we got it together and got here. That's awesome. I like the gold dry. leaf. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, come a long way in 11 days. A lot of extra, a lot of, a lot of late nights and getting there. It's been around the clock. Yep. It's a beautiful truck. How long did, how long have you guys been working on it? Uh, the process started about nine months ago. Okay. And, it, and when you got it, was it was it a single axle when you it, picked it up? It was. It was a single axle short frame. The truck came out of California. This is and, like a hay hauler, probably. <laughs> yeah, we we stretched the frame and. I really like the. Uh, I call it sea deck because yeah, it's always a that, boat thing. I think they call it something else. That's though. where it came from. Yep. And it's in the floor too. Push the door. Oh yeah. Those look great. How's it go down the road? Pretty good? Nice. It rides really good. It's got an air ride front and rear suspension, air ride cab. It makes a big difference. Y'all done a really good job with the paint. Yeah, we were, we were real happy with how that turned out. You don't see this a whole lot, which is like probably one of my favorite things about, like it's a, it's a very traditional deal you don't see. And so like the gold leaf stuff, I think it's pretty fitting for any, classic truck. It is. It, it goes hand in hand with the classic. And that's why I decided to go that route. That's awesome. You all got plans to do anything else with it? Uh, we'll hit some shows with it and work it. Okay. Well, we'll get to see it because the parade tonight the parade. is a, is it is it dark basically. Right. We've got 124 lights below the doors. Really? Yeah. It, wow. It sounds pretty good. And you got them mounted under the deck. They're under the deck plate. Check that out. Oh, yeah. I see what you're talking about. And the, is it 3 8 and everything on your on your front T-bar? It is. I like the way that mounts, too. It's clean. Man, it's a sharp truck. I can't wait to see it lit up, especially with being the top five in the parade. It'll be everybody's attention. You're gonna set the uh, you're gonna set the standard for everybody behind you. Right, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I appreciate you showing us the truck, and uh, thanks for you know being a part of it. Yes, sir. Thank you. See you later.
thân
Mm-hmm.